Hi guys, Dave's here. Well, today I'm going to show you how if you've got, you know, Vectric Expire, Vectric VCarve, or whichever one you have, uh, you want to save the G code and then upload it to Easel, uh, made by Inventables, who makes the XCarve CNC. Well, we need a post processor for it. And so what we do is open up Google and I've done typed it in here. It's going to, you're going to type in easel post processor. When you get your search results, click on the one that says downloads easel driver. And over here, you see if you've got Fusion 360, you can do the same thing, but we're using Vectric. So click on it and it will download the file for you. Okay, once it's downloaded, it should be in your downloads folder. Right here it is. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna click copy. Then we're gonna close this out. Now go back to our vector here. Click on file, open application data folder. And in here, gonna click on my post P. Right here, if you put it in here, that'll make it your default post processor. Now, once you put it in here, you will need to close out Vectric and open it back up before it uh, adds it to it. But let's say we, we let's do a, just a new file here, and I'm just going to pick something random. We'll do a circle. I'll go over here and then uh, we're going to just own it. This is just for example. Okay. Now, whatever you want to carve that's on the screen here, if it's just if it's the same cutter, you can uh, you know check boxes of several ones. But once we done, we get this right here, you click on the save button, and now look here. Easel is your post processor. So we can save the toolpath and let me just save it to my desktop and I'm just going to leave it as profile one, click save. I can go sign into easel. Once I'm signed into easel, I'll go to new project. Okay. Once they're right here, go to project and then click import G code and choose file. And remember, I put it on my desktop here, so right here it is. But be sure to name your file down so that you can find it easy. This is just an example. We click open, and now down you can uh, start carving and everything. You you got to have your machine hooked up to it. Um, I'm up in my house right now. I don't. I'm not at my X carve, but this is how you import G code and use Easel as the sending software. Well, I hope this helps somebody. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.